What is leading up to the strike? What's causing the strike? Uh, honestly, the conditions. It's, un it's underfunding our schools. Um, I've been a teacher for 17 years. Um, when we started, we had coaches, we had assistant principals, we had support staff, we had coordinators. Um, when we hit the recession, all of those were taken away. Um, teachers were given furlough days, um, multiple furlough days, weeks of furlough days. Um, and then when we finally started to come back, California started to come out of the recession, none of those things came back. They combined jobs. So one person was now doing the job of maybe two or three people used to do, but for the same pay. At the teachers, we live it day in, day out. We show up before we take work home. We work on the weekends. We work during the summers. We work 60 hour weeks, we get paid far less than we should, and we don't stop working, and I think we're, we're tired of it. I think that we are at a point in our profession where people need to recognize that we work far more than we are compensated for. We love our jobs, because some will say, if you don't like it, then get out. No, we love it, but we deserve a fair rate. This is education, this is our future, this is for our sovereignty, this is for for everything. I mean, education is everything. This, this is the right cause to fall on the sword for. Public education. We're not striking for more money. Yes, I know you can see all the demands in front of me, starting with small class sizes all the way down to immigration. All of that matters in public ed. We are not, we are not a bubble. We are not a man on an island in and of ourselves. Education reaches out to every part of our society. When people voted, what, 98% to authorize a strike, did people have West Virginia and Oklahoma in mind when the, because a teacher spring happened last year as well? Oh yeah, definitely. They were our inspiration. We were following them. We stood with them. They're standing with us. This is not a fight in California. This is a fight for every teacher in the country. This is a fight for a profession where 76% of the profession is female. Females are under attack. This is a women's movement. It's a continuation of Trump politics. It's not, it's not a secret. It's very obvious. You don't have to look very deeply to understand that this is an attack on women, an attack on labor, an attack on immigrants. All over the country, it's an attack on immigrants. And teachers, we can do it. We can stand up and we can be the voice for everyone. We need to have solidarity amongst the workforce across the nation because no one should be disrespected. No one should have to work two or three jobs to sustain a family. One paycheck should be enough. I think it sends a message that you know a, a line has been drawn and you have to decide which side of line you're going to be on, which side of history. Well, I think everyone's really been waiting for this to happen, or we, we think it needs to happen, because year after year, we don't even get a cost of living raise. Not not even that. So even um, so basically, it's like taking a pay cut every year, especially in L.A., as prices go up, as rents go up. Um, so that is a big issue. You take away the right to an education, then you shut us up, you blind us, and that's the end of democracy. It's the end of labor. It's the end of fair. It's the end of immigrants. This is really, really big. It's really important. And L.A. can show the country. If they cannot take us down, they won't take down anybody. And what about, there's been some talk about some workers that could strike in solidarity, uh, people in SEIU 99 or other unions, school bus drivers. Uh, what's your message to those workers? Well, of course we welcome them and they have been told, some of them have been told that they cannot, they must report to their work sites. Others have been given the option to honor the picket line or cross the picket line and the ones that we know of that have been given the option every Teamster, at least that I know of, that I've spoken to, has already stated that they will honor the picket line. So we thank those brothers because this is about everybody. It's about all of our unions. So the picket line, don't cross. Don't cross it. Don't cross it, Teamsters. Don't cross the line. Honor it. Take a sticker. Pretend you can't get in if you have to, but we know you're with us.